What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Draymond Green Show YouTube channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like the post that you love, but you can get everything the Draymond Green Show right on our YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe. Check that out. Thank you. It's putting guys in a tough situation as well. Here you are. You score 51 points, and then the next year, you're not on an NBA roster. How is that possible? You know, and so just where the league has kind of gone in a sense of veterans and the effect that it's having on these young guys. What's your take on that? It's awful, Jack. And this, and this is the thing for me. And I've heard you speak about it before. When you had the David Wests, Jermaine O'Neal's, right? Like all those vets to really kind of set the tone for your, your career. I had Oak. I had Rick Brunson. I had Kendall Gill. I didn't know what I didn't know until I, I saw them guys. Oh, no, being on time is being an hour and a half early if you're a young fella, yeah. right? Staying after. You can't eat McDonald's before the game no more. Like, that stuff set the foundation for my career. I think that's what's missing. For me personally, I went team of the year the year before. I go to Phoenix. At first, we're trying to win. They say we're trying to win. We're trying to make the playoffs. But you can go back and check it out. Trevor Reeses gets traded. Tyson Chandler gets traded. Now it's just me and Ryan Anderson there. Yeah. So now we went from trying to make the playoffs, so we just... We play, we're going young. Mm -hmm. And so now you got to be a good vet, right? Yeah. And you should want to because you've had your run, but, it, you know, it's the younger guy's turn. That month, the younger guys are like, they, they're not, a lot of them are not playing. And now I have my highest scoring month of my career. I have wow. 31 for the month of April. Wow. 31.6 assists off the bench, and we won half the games, and we didn't win shit that year. So winning half the games <laughs> is impressive. <laughs> Absolutely. Right? And... Y'all were getting mopped that year. I remember. Killed, I remember. Right? Year. Absolutely. And so, one and a half the games was something to me. I averaged 31, six assists in the last game. I, I get 51 and five off the bench. I just won teammate of the year. I'm like, oh, I know I'm going to, I know I'm going to get a deal. I'm not saying I'm going to get anything above minimum, but I know I'm going to get a contract. Yes. I get nothing. And so, I went through moments of depression. Like, damn, I couldn't even watch basketball. Bro, I couldn't even watch. As much as I love basketball and love the game, I couldn't even watch basketball for a year and a half. I didn't watch basketball at all. At all. And then the bubble happened. And I came back for that. And that's a whole nother story. But I, I hadn't played in 16 months or whatever. But I was depressed. And I didn't know it. And my wife told me. She like, you would go to rooms and just kind of just disappear and come back. And I've never said this. I would go to rooms and kind of disappear. Then come back with the fam and just like, cause I, I I couldn't understand why I was not getting a call. I didn't mm -hmm. understand it. And all these same teams, why don't you come be a coach? Why don't you come run the front office? I'm like, oh, so you respect my mind, you respect that, mm -hmm. but you just don't want me on the court. Yes. And that part messed me up and it took me a while to get there. And then I had to be really reflective. I'm like, okay, if God said you have to go out, this is the best way I can send you out. Cause you know, obviously he knew, but it was just crazy to me and, and, I think Isaiah's going through it right now. Mm -hmm. Not the depression part, but just certain days where you just, you know, you're, you're like, damn. And I think what it is is, I think when you've had a following for a long time and you go to a team, that fan base is going to want to see you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that could be kind of a distraction for a team that's trying to grow young people. Interesting. And it took me a while to get to that point, right? Interesting. So if my name was... Jamal Johnson, and I was, you know, just the same vet. Maybe I get signed with the same credentials. Maybe I get signed. Mm -hmm. But if I'm me and I have some type of following and people want to, no, put him in the game, it could be a distraction. But what I will say to answer your question, sorry that was so long-winded. No, is, that was great. I appreciate I think it. There should be a rule that on every team, you need three guys that have 10 years and more experience mm -hmm. because you can help, like, slow some of the things that are happening down with the younger generation on and especially off the court. Because, mm -hmm. you know, we've had, we see it like, no, 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 slow down. Like, yeah. you got to move like this. And if they just have one it's, and it's still a bunch of young guys, that's not fixed. They're like, man, this old dude. Mm -hmm. But if you have three or two or three, like, no, no, y'all need to slow down or you need to slow down, I think they hear it a little bit differently. I think that should be a mandatory. It'll help the league. I think it'll help the young players. It helps set their foundation. Get in on the action with the DraftKings Sportsbook, an official sports betting partner of the NBA. New customers who deposit $5 or more can get a no-sweat bet up to $1,000 back in bonus bets. How cool of a deal is that? All you have to do is download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. It takes 90 seconds and use the code Colin. 
C-O-L-I-N. This is the best deal you're going to find. New customers. It's a no sweat bet up to $1,000 if your first bet loses. How cool is that? Only at DraftKings Sportsbook. Code is Colin. The crown is yours. I agree 100%. I always talk about my vets that I had and how important they were to my career. Like like you were just talking, J- Jermaine O'Neal, Jared Jack, uh, Carl yeah, Landry, Jack. David West, Zaza Pachulia, David Lee. Like the list goes on and on. Andrew Bogut, like Andre Godala. Yes. You know, and like these You just things, named seven right there. Like, like I play with all those guys. All those guys I just named with, between years one and five, I play with all those guys. And the things that they taught, Richard Jefferson. Yeah, like, y'all did have RJ, okay. The things that they taught me, like, when you look at my demeanor on the basketball court, when I first came into the league, like, I was me, but I'm like, man, I can't get texts, I can't do this. And RJ was like, yes, you can. You should get texts. That's the only way you're going to make it. It's like being that guy. You have to be okay with that. And I'm like, yeah, RJ, but I don't want to find at the time. I'm, I'm making yeah, a few yeah, dollars. Yeah, I'm yeah, a second yeah. round pick. Like, I need this. And he like, but you have to look at it as an investment in yourself. That's real. It's like, you, you just have to be okay with that because who you need to be for this team, you got to be okay with getting some of that. 